Welcome back to the Learning the Elements Through Illustrator video series. If you're interested in detailed plans, worksheets, and project outlines for this unit, go to digitalartteacher.com to learn more. This is the last video in this series. And by the end of this video, you should feel confident maneuvering inside of the Illustrator program, even if you feel like you don't have it all down perfectly. In this video, I will be using the rectangular grid tool to assure that there is enough space on our page. And at the end of the video, I'll give you specific instructions on what you need to have completed to finish this project. Since we are talking about the element space, we're going to look into the importance of using white space here. What we're gonna do is create a grid with nine boxes that are the same distance apart. You can do this by trying to eyeball it or count the number of spaces between the boxes or even try using math, but who wants to do that? We're gonna use the rectangular grid tool instead. So here is your rectangular grid tool. It is under the line segment if you don't have it up. If you click and drag, just like when we use that circular grid tool back on the color page, it creates a grid with rectangles in it. Now, what we want is to have squares and we wanna have five boxes across and five boxes down. You may think that the number five is the one you want, but actually we're talking about dividers here. So you're gonna wanna have four dividers each. And I'm not really sure what that is, but you can delete that. And we're going to drag across and get your grid. Hold down shift to keep it from distorting so that you have squares. And go to view and we're gonna make guides from this grid. So guides and make guides. Now to create our boxes. Get your rectangle tool and click and drag when you see anchor, and again, when you see intersect. Just so that you can see the boxes, you can click on default so that you have a white square. Now you're gonna copy and paste this square across the page using your copy paste skills. If you copy the first line, you may of course select all and copy paste down the page. And now just like you did on your texture page, we're going to use images to fill these boxes. This time you're just going to use any theme of your choosing. And since we are talking about space, I am going to choose space as my theme. And that gives me a lot of choices to work with. So I'm gonna select this one. I'm going to save it into that folder that I had earlier that I called images. Go back to my Illustrator and click and drag those space images onto my page. Now you're gonna come up with a problem because I can't make a clipping mask unless my smaller object is on top. So we gotta fix that. Drag your image away, and then every time you do this, you're gonna have to put your box in the front. The shortcut command for arranging to bring things to the front is shift command right bracket. And there you have your box inside. And the same as before, if you double click, then you can move that around to a spot of your liking. Double click to exit isolate mode. So all you need to do is find nine images within your theme. The theme is up to you and then fill those boxes. So to recap, we use the rectangular guide tool to create a guide for the space on your page and make a square on every other space, meaning three across and three down and fill each square with an image based on a theme of your choosing. Use the clipping mask to keep it inside the frame of each square. 
I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and that you have enjoyed learning how to use Illustrator and what your elements of design are through this video series. wraps up this video series. If you like this video and you want more resources, go to digitalartteacher.com to learn more.